actually at that party. At that party. I remember and I recollect Evelyn from years prior to that, many years prior. Mm -hmm. So while he's at this function at the anniversary party, Evelyn was a participant in doing the polka dancing in polka uniforms. And it ends up that he then introduces me to Evelyn and tells me, look, the next time you come into town, I want you to make certain that you take Evelyn out mm -hmm. on a date. That's right. So I didn't say no to her. Says, right? But I thought, here he is a fixer and so forth. So the next time I was in town, I, right. was that I called up Evelyn and told her that I'm in town and could we go out for a date. So that, uh, she said yes. So I went and bought a two pound box of Annie Mae candies and uh, took Evelyn to the Chicago Theater. And uh, I'm sorry to say I ate more than half of the candy. I don't think she got very much of it. <laughs> and then I took her home and that ended what was playing at the Chicago Theater that night? I don't remember. <laughs> Evelyn will remember what was playing. I can't remember. Oh. I can't write like I used to know. Well, in any event, I fulfilled my obligation. And she was a nice girl, and I decided that I'd better see her again. So then on repeated occasions, I called her and so forth and so on. But he insisted that next time I came in town, I'd do that, and I did. And he ended up marrying us. <laughs> and he has since died, too. So there we are. That's how I met Evelyn. Pretty good that he insisted on that, right? <laughs> yeah, he very, was looking out for you guys. Yeah, I'm very happy about that. Um, back in your childhood, can you remember any Christmas uh, rituals that you had, any special uh, traditions that you carried on at Christmas time? Mm, not really. We always had the uh, Christmas trees and the lights. Had the usual book tea and so forth, which was the bakery that, that you have, the checks had. Can you remember any special thing that you always wanted for Christmas that you didn't get or that you did? Not you really. We get? had some pretty tough sailings yeah. when you didn't have much for Christmas, too. And uh, that wasn't easy. But that. Uh, that's all part of life. Yeah. Well, you talked about, you know, during the Depression and, and your father was in the tailoring business at the time. No, my father was a, a tailor by trade, I said. Oh. And, but he ended up doing that work. He learned how to do that. And his father had that tailor shop in a wine yeah. house. But, uh, but was, was he doing that during the Depression? No, during the Depression he was... Uh, I can't remember what he was doing. I don't know he worked for uh, liquid carbonic, but he also he was worked for the, the tailors, you know, for companies downtown Chicago. Mm -hmm. After his father was no longer in the tailoring business, I mean in the cutting business. But he had various and sundry jobs. He also was in politics in Berwyn. He was commissioner of public works, I think I mentioned. Mm -hmm. that. I don't have to mention it again, but uh, somebody wanted one from there, but he didn't want to run from there. So he could maybe have been there in Berwyn. What did about, you, uh, did, you, did you pull any Halloween pranks that were uh, really creative? Always pulled Halloween pranks when we were kids. Yeah. We would do that. Overturned outhouses and that sort of thing? No, or? it didn't have any outhouses in Berwyn. <laughs> but we would do devilish things, not really anything serious damage yeah. or anything like that. Just, just fun things. Waxing up windows or something like mm -hmm. that, and, uh, which is natural, I guess. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have I any wasn't of, an angel. Do you ever have any of the neighbors uh, have to go and talk to your mother about? Uh, do you know what your son did here? <laughs> not really. No. Well, not really. Never got caught at your prank. Huh? No, not really. I didn't. That wasn't very devilish. I don't think that I was destructive. Not that way. Well, but did you have any uh, family pets when you grew up? Yeah, we had dog. Did you? Yeah, we had dogs. Remember the dog's name? Laddie. Laddie? Yeah. What kind of a dog was Laddie? Laddie was a kind of a 
cross between a collie and something else. And uh, we just have a police dog on another occasion. Uh, dogs. Okay, well, is there right. any, anything that you can think of that you'd like to tell us about that we haven't covered? Oh, nothing. Well, I could tell you a lot of things that we after have left, but you're aware of most of their family. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yeah, I understand. You know, but, uh, we, we wanna... You know about the Blake house, Powers Lake, right? And the acquisition of that. Mm -hmm. And how that occurred and when that occurred. Wow. Which I think was the greatest thing that we had ever done, as far as our children are concerned. <laughs> As far as our grandchildren are concerned, as far as their their spouses are concerned. Maybe when we get you and mom together, we'll talk about uh, the expansion and oh, the, 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 yeah. the, the growth of uh, Powers Lake. And right now, we'll we'll do some in, some individual interviewing with mom, and then we'll get the two of you together. Okay, very How good. That sound? Okay. That's good. Okay, Mike, you can take that That's off. Very good. Well, here we go with the second part of our interview. It's still Monday, March 6th, 1989, and we're in Clearwater, Florida. And now we're going to interview Mom. Your full name is? Evelyn Marie Wa No, sir. <laughs> okay. And uh, when were you born? February 13th, 1920. And, and where was that? In Chicago, Illinois. In Chicago. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we know you grew up most of your life in Berlin, so... Right. When did you move to Berlin? Uh, 1925. I was five years old. Five years old. Okay. And that's the house that, that you still own right now in, in Berlin? I own and live there, got married, lived, raised five children, saw five children fly the nest, and my dad and I are still there. <laughs> that one around. <laughs> that one around. Okay. Of course, you've got two other houses to kind of uh, yeah. maintain and everything, yeah. too. Yeah. Well, in a little while, we'll go back and we'll talk about something about your parents, but I think we want to talk um, about your your childhood and your growing up. And uh, Can you tell me what is the earliest memory that you have? <laughs> Any special memory from going back on a special day in, in grade school or something that happened to you when you were a little girl? Mm -hmm. No, nothing real significant no, no, no. there. Okay. Well, can, what can you tell us about going to school? When did you start school, and did you start right at St. Leonard's? Um, no, I went to a public school for one year, and then I transferred over to St. Leonard's. Uh -huh. Was that public school was closer to our house. Okay. Was that for first grade or first kindergarten? Grade, yeah, first grade. No kindergarten. Uh -huh. So you went to first grade in the public school. And we went to uh, St. Leonard's. Okay. Uh -huh. And then did you walk back and forth to school every oh, day? Oh, yes. Most of the time. There was prairies. We cut through the prairies. It was smaller more. So we used to cut through the prairies. It wasn't so far. Uh -huh. so. And, and who did you walk with? Well, there was nobody in our area. I think I did it myself. Yes. That's pretty adventuresome for oh, yeah. a seven-year-old little girl walking yeah. off to school by herself. Can you remember your teacher? Mm -hmm. Special teachers, or yeah. first grade, or second grade yeah, teachers? Sister Sacred Heart, and Sister... No, <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> I can't remember Sister my Thelma teacher's Rita. names either. Sister was one. Sister Frances Avery was one. Sister Frances Avery was one. Sister Burge was another. And that's all I can remember right now. I had no special ones here. I had a sister Celia was my piano teacher. I took lessons for a couple of years now. I didn't know virtuoso on the piano now. <laughs> Can you, you ever oh. sit down and just try to plunk out a few things? For yeah. Uh, Pray to the Wooden Soldiers. I get about five measures out of that. <laughs> what are you, plunk out a few Christmas songs now? No, I can read music a little bit if I sat down and I could maybe, maybe pick it up if I took enough time. Try it real hard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What about uh, some of your your friends at school then? Well, I had a girlfriend that lived behind me at, at home, behind Berwyn, and her name was a little Simpac. We were very close friends, and we tried to dress alike, and we did things together. And 
I, I'm kind of a loner, which I'm still in more or less. Uh -huh. I didn't know a lot of little girls in the neighborhood. No, they weren't in the neighborhood. Natural. That's right. Did you like to play with dolls? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I have one doll that's a little bisque kitted doll that I got. It's still in good shape. Put away in the drawer. Uh -huh. And I play with. Did you ever play with paper cutouts? I suppose I did, but they're not very outstanding in my mind right now. Uh -huh. Did you like the baby dolls, or did you like yeah. them when the grown-up dolls would do their hair? And their no, hair? Well, that time you didn't have the do hair dolls. The, ba the baby dolls. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. The ball-headed one. Yeah, you had a lot of little clothes. You changed the clothes all the time and yeah. that yeah. sort of thing. Um, do you remember other things that you liked to do as a little girl? Yes, I was a great uh, sample collector. You to read the magazines and they sent in, you'd get a sample of... Uh, cream or, or just anything that they had. They get little boxes and little things of that, and I would uh -huh. send for those and wait for them to come in the mail. Uh -huh. I enjoyed doing that. Uh -huh. And I was a very avid um, fan of the quintuplet, the Dion quintuplet. Uh -huh. In Canada? Yes. Uh -huh. I followed their lives, and I had a scrapbook of them, but whatever became the scrapbook, I have no idea. It just disappeared. Uh -huh. What was the fascination? Well, they were such cute babies and healthy-looking babies, mm -hmm. and such a the phenomenon being five at the time mm -hmm. they were born. But it just kind of stuck with me. And I, how old were you when you were born? Gee, I don't know. It was I was born six at the time. I don't know when they were born. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. I would have been sixteen. Then. Mm -hmm. I may have been younger than that. I don't remember. It was just really fast. And so you kept yeah. a scrapbook and. Yeah. And they're growing up. Of course, it was very popular. Magazines used to do the yeah, and the yeah. life magazines. Yeah. Every year they yeah. used to do follow-ups on those quests. Mm -hmm. and they, do you know what they're doing today? No, a couple of them died. One was a nun, I guess. And I don't know. Mm -hmm. You're kind of busy with your own family. Yeah, <laughs> your own quests, right? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh, okay, so. We of course, was not as populated no. as it is now. Didn't we were the only one in the, in the neighborhood at the time. My parents built a house there. Uh -huh. There was one other house at the other end of the block. Uh -huh. but we were the only ones off prairie. Okay. Now, you have one brother. One brother. Mm -hmm. He was quite a bit older than yes, you. Yes, he was uh, seven years older than I. He died when he was 16 years old. Do you remember that very vividly? Uh, yeah, not vividly, but uh, at that time they used to have the um, funerals at home. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, the wakes right in the house. Mm -hmm. I can remember. Yeah. And he had uh, diphtheria and strep throat is what took him. He didn't have any antibiotics at the time. That was in 1929. So you were pretty lucky not to get the yeah. disease yourself. Then, yeah. Were there others in the family that, that were touched with the diphtheria? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd have to, I'd, I'd always heard a bit about the strep throat. I didn't realize it was uh, in connection with diphtheria. Did you, George? No. Not too much. Because you were only then, what about nine? No. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Um, well, I know you were a you know, good little girl. You didn't need much discipline, I don't suppose. No, I would. Well, honestly, I was good. <laughs> <laughs> never had to be sent to your room or, or spanked? No, or not, that really, really, not that I remember anything drastic that I had. Mm -hmm. um, so, being the only girl, you would have had a room to yourself? No, because we didn't have enough room. I had a grandmother that lived with us, my dad's mother, mm -hmm. and I shared a bedroom with her, a twin bed, uh -huh. and um, so I didn't ha never had a room of my own. No. Um, now, did you have a room off the kitchen? Uh, the middle bedroom. Oh, the middle bedroom. Okay. Well, my mother's sister lived with us, too, and uh, my mother and dad had the kitchen bedroom. And I slept with my grandmother in the middle of it, and my aunt had the front room. Mm -hmm. 
Grandmother died when uh, Ronnie was born, so well, that was in 
What was what was there? Uh, like a lake. In the water, but very rarely. Mm -hmm. That's how I never got to learn to like water, which I could be enjoying now. <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> I grew up on a lake, and I yeah, know that right. right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, now Dad mentioned before about the polka dancing, so we oh. must have joined uh, our group of uh, yeah, St. Leonard's had a young people's club. And I was very active in that. I think I had an office of some kind at one time, but what it was, I don't know. And uh, I would always volunteer to be in plays. If I was older, I was more foregoing, I guess, and had to volunteer my services for mm -hmm. acting and whatever. But uh, I did the polka dance is how I met the ex. So. Mm -hmm. Well, so now you graduated from St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then where did you go to high school? I went to I went to Morton High School for a few months, and then the priest, because my folks couldn't afford to send me to a Catholic school, and then our priest took a liking or knew our family, and he offered to pay my tuition to Nazareth. So I was sent to Nazareth. That's where I graduated from Nazareth. Mm -hmm. well, that was nice that you would do that. Oh, that was really great. How did you get back and forth to Nazareth? Uh, a girlfriend who lived in Chicago's dad would drive her every morning, and I'd wait on the corner of Ogden and Maple, and he would pick up me up and some other girls on the way, and we'd get to school there. Mm -hmm. And then we had to take a bus coming mm -hmm. home. Bus home. Mm -hmm. Did you find school real hard? Or was it very uh, really easy? No, I had to work hard, but I did well. I was very conscientious. Mm -hmm. and, A worry work, you know, I have to be, make good grades and all that. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, I work at it. Mm -hmm. But you were a good student. Yeah, I was a good student. Mm -hmm. Did you like reading and history and that type of thing? Or did you not really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not much of a reader today either. And there were book reports. I'd get the thinnest book in the largest <laughs> print to make a book report. We all know that trick. <laughs> <laughs> but it sure is nice to, I like to read them. Still, the likeness, uh, you know, in, in your children, anyway. Yes, I, it surprises me. I don't know how they, because Dad doesn't like, he's not a reader either, mm -hmm. but it, I'm sure grateful mm -hmm. that they are. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. What about uh, some of the friends that you made in high school, then? Did you become uh, close friends with them? Oh, uh, yes. That we got a club that's still going after 50 years in high school. There's seven of us now. And uh, we started when we were. Yeah. Freshmen, I guess, or sophomores, or whatever, but we're still together today. Yeah. Yeah. We're all in the same class. Yeah. 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 Now, was one of these the well, one his father used to pick you up and take yes, you to school? Yes, she was one, and uh, mm -hmm. a couple of the others, like, were one one girl was behind, and one year was uh, two years ahead of us, mm -hmm. and we're sisters, so that we were all in the same oh, class. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, their married names or their names? Well, well, the people we know. Mildred Vink, you know, Mrs. Vink, Mrs. Vink and Mrs. Uh -huh. Them, uh -huh. uh, Mrs. Uh, Smith, uh -huh. uh, Mrs. Vidloff. Uh, which ones were the sisters? Uh, and Mrs. Shoemate. Shoemate and, and Zadarsky are oh, sisters. Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's seven of them. Uh -huh. And so now you get together yet today. Mm -hmm. Once a month. Okay, what type of things do you usually do when you get no, together? We just talk and gossip and eat. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a, a whole lunch or just dessert and coffee? No, just and coffee? dessert and coffee of an evening, yeah. Okay, but I know you usually make special little favors or you, know, yeah. you, you trade Christmas presents with Oh, yes. You draw Christmas. names? Yes, we draw names and uh, each girl gets a turn mm -hmm. for Christmas mm -hmm. uh, party. And then you, you, know, you usually have a picnic. Come up to the lake and yeah, we um, did that a couple of times. Yeah, mm -hmm. we've done that before. And another girl has a place on Lily Lake, and we would go there when mm -hmm. our children were small. Were any of these other girls in the polka club? No, mm -hmm. none of these were from St. Well, Miller Vink was from St. Leonard's. Yeah. Oh, that was the St. Leonard's yeah. activity. Yes, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you remember Nazareth Academy? Of course, was an all-girls school. Mm -hmm. Did they have a Crowns or anything? Oh, yes. Yeah. Crowns. Yeah. Yeah. Did, you, did you go to the, the crowns? Yes, I went to several. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
we have to find something to take me. <laughs> Was this always a girl ask boy take me then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We had to take the big step and ask uh, somebody else. That's right. Mm -hmm. you get all prettied up and yeah. in a new dress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did your mother ever make some of your dresses for you? No, I don't think so. For those affairs, I'd always get to. Because I know she did some sewing. Yeah, she, she was a sewer. But did she sew clothes for you then, or did she yeah. mainly other other types of things? Yeah, she would get aprons and mm -hmm. clothes. Yeah. 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 Um, but then let's hear more about your, your vocal club now. Did you travel around to different churches? Oh, no. Uh, we had a, a big affair when the, Dad's mother and Dad had that affair. His aunt had asked, because Aunt Dodie, Chris, was in the same parish. Uh -huh. They wanted to know if there was anything that we could use, they could use as entertainment. It just so happened we got through with the, this affair at the St. Leonard's. And she thought maybe that would be a good idea, so they asked if our group would come, so we just were happy to be asked to go. Mm -hmm. So and I happened to be in that same group, so that's how I got to go to their... Did, their did you have um, matching costumes? Yeah, we had just skirts and blouses at the mm -hmm. time. Lots of criminal no, and that, that sort of thing? No, it wasn't that fancy. Mm -hmm. plain. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember what we wore. But it was a lot of fun. Oh, really? Sounded like a lot. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let me see. Can you remember anything about your early childhood that, that you wanted to tell us about that we haven't talked about? No, all I know is that we had real good times with our family. We'd always have birthdays to celebrate, and with my grandmother living at home with us. The family got all come to Berwyn and uh -huh. everything else. And we had a player piano mm -hmm. that we had down in the basement. And all the cousins would enjoy playing the player piano. Mm -hmm. We always had a good time. And there were lots of good food and kolachkis that everybody liked and my mother would make. And we always liked coming to our house. And that was always a good time with the family. Yeah. Yeah. Still are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you ever have any uh, acquaintance in your teenage years that you put, put peer pressure on you to do things that you didn't want to do, or you just didn't hang around? You, oh, I yes, I had one girl. Friend. I forgot about her. She was the next, <laughs> <laughs> next block over. She was a big girl, and I was kind of a petite person, and she tried to make me do things. And we used to have what we call sauerkraut grass. And she'd make me pick that up <laughs> and make me eat that. She was, and she <laughs> hover over that? me. Yeah, she was tough. And uh, I was scared of her, of course, she was so big, but I forgot about her. She ended up down the next block. What's and that rat thing's name? <laughs> yeah, her name was Mildred Golka. Oh, well, Mildred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was a <laughs> tough bird. Mm -hmm. Now, what about, do you have any special school memories that we haven't talked about? Did you did you have a yearbook? Did you oh yeah work on the yearbook? Uh, no. Oh, well, I oh I know that I didn't work on the year, but I think I told you that I was treasurer of the graduating class. Oh okay. I kept that title, but I didn't collect any money. I just got the title. <laughs> got my picture in the center of the the class picture because of. Now does that mean when it comes time for class reunions that usually the the senior class office. You no, know, whoever, you know, not necessary. I volunteered my help for this 50th anniversary. Uh -huh. But just coming up this No, time. we had it last year. Oh, it was last year. Yeah. Last year. Yeah. 1938. How big graduate. of a class was your graduate class? Uh, 47. Okay, that's not too big. Mm -hmm. was, did most of them come to the No, we year? only had 10, I think. But yeah, it was good because most of your, your group. <laughs> no, they were from a couple came from out of town, and then a couple from Chicago. Mm -hmm. And Ruth Goodwin was in my class. She came mm -hmm. and she chose to show. Mm -hmm. But you know, there, a lot of them are way out of town, mm -hmm. deceased. And all that. Did you have any special teacher that you 
Yes, so I was really special in, in high school. My typing and uh, shorthand teacher, sister Julia. Oh, yes, she was my sister Julia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why was why was she so? I don't know. I just took her. She was sweet and kind. And the kind of person you like, right? Yeah. <laughs> No, I am uh, at in Berwyn on the corner of Maple and Ogden. There was a great big roller rink was put up on the tent type roller rinks, mm -hmm. and uh, I used to roller skate there. And they had the music, you know, you play with it. And the music would play when you'd skate. And I, I don't know how it happened, but we knew the man that ran the thing, and I get on without paying. And I got to learn to skate there. Now when I go on a rink, I do. Pretty well for an old lady. You bet. And I know the grandchildren are always amazing. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's uh, one of your claims to fame. You yeah. Know, that you can roller skate backwards. Yeah. Yeah. What about some of the clothing styles when you were a teenager? Do you remember what, um, what was popular or what hairstyles were popular? Oh, yeah, very plain. Bobby socks? Yeah, I guess I did. Yeah. Yeah. Saddle mm -hmm. shoes? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. How long were your skirts? They were pretty long. Were they? Yeah, I think they were kind of mid camp if yeah. I remember. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, there's not much distance between the bobby sack and the no. skirt line. <laughs> 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 oh. yeah. What kind of hairstyles did, did you always wear your hair long or short? Or? Short. Very short. Oh. I had curls, five curls when, I, when Dad remembers me at school. Five big fat curls in my oh, head. 